Red filled up much of Tuesday's midterm elections map, but it turns out Green also tallied big wins, and no, we don't mean Ralph Nader. I think, I think marijuana, marijuana should, should be legal. legal. We mean marijuana, of course. Oregon and Alaska became the third and fourth states to legalize marijuana possession and sales. Washington, D.C. also legalized marijuana, but only its possession. D.C.'s Initiative 71 passed last night with almost 70% voter approval, while Oregon and Alaska both passed measures in closer races, 54 and 52% of the votes respectively. Of course, in the federal government's eyes, marijuana is still an illegal drug, and therefore you won't be seeing anyone on the Hill or any other federal land in D.C. lighting up. One of the biggest concerns for opponents in Alaska and Oregon seems to be marijuana edibles, which have worried some for their potent effects. But, as Vox points out, advocates for Alaska pushed legalization as more of a libertarian issue, keeping the government out of people's private lives. Oregon, on the other hand, pushed the potential revenue and strict regulation as positives. The U.S. territory of Guam and South Portland, Maine get honorary mentions as two others passing pot legislation as well. Guam voted in favor of using the drug for medicinal purposes and the small Maine town's vote was seen as symbolic. But there was one state in which marijuana didn't see quite as much success, Florida. Voting yes on two will allow doctors to recommend the medicine they feel will ease the pain and suffering of thousands of sick Floridians. Although the final vote came in around 58%, under Florida law, the amendment needed 60% of the vote to become a constitutional amendment. As Slate points out, the vote came off as unexpected. Many had pegged Florida to be the first southern state to legalize medical marijuana, but a heavy no on two campaign seems to have succeeded in dissuading voters. Amendment two, there's nothing medical about this marijuana. Those campaigning for legalization in Florida vowed to give medical marijuana legalization another go in 2016. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez. Influence by the military-industrial complex.